Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a quick review of the Glam Glow Insta Mud. It's their second, second, 60 second pore refining mask that they came out with recently. And I picked it up a couple weeks ago and thought I should try and do a quick review of it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. But it is actually, to be 100% honest, one of the better Glam Glow formulas, in my opinion, than a lot of their other masks. And I like how they've actually packaged this in a tube and not a jar. So I'm, the only thing I'm sad about is, so they finally come out with a product that is, in my opinion, contains a lot more skin beneficial ingredients and packaged it right. However, it's only supposed to sit on your skin for 60 seconds, so your skin doesn't really have a lot of time to benefit from anything in there. So it's kind of a bummer. I'm pretty disappointed about that. I wish they have done something with a lot of these ingredients and made it possibly like an overnight mask or something like that, but they didn't go that direction, unfortunately, because... Uh, this does have some pretty good for your skin ingredients in it. Uh, it's got a lot of witch hazel in there, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's got uh, niacinamide and other some other good things. But uh, you're meant to apply this to clean skin and then uh, leave it on for about 60 seconds, and then it starts to bu bubble. So it comes out like a little purple. You can kind of see that. Um, and then after you leave it on for about a minute, it will start to bubble on your skin and then you're supposed to rinse it off. So to be honest, your skin's not going to get a ton of benefits from this because it, it's only on your skin for 60 seconds or about a minute. So because of that, your skin can only spend a minute absorbing the good ingredients that it has on there. So um, that's disappointing. I wish they would have done something a little bit differently, but if you can see it's starting to foam a little bit. And when you're using it, uh, you can feel the bubbles a little bit. They kind of tickle a little bit, and then you rinse it off, and then you're done. Uh, my skin did feel a little tight when I rinsed it off. A little tight and a little dry, which is probably from, uh, they've got some oil-absorbent ingredients in there, and then witch hazel. So definitely, if you have oily skin, this is definitely more geared toward you guys, uh, which I have dry skin. But, you know, and the other thing is my pores didn't necessarily look any different or any cleaner. They just closed a little bit so um in pores they close like if you flush cold water on your skin they'll close up so and that's all of it's temporary nothing is permanent you really can't do much permanency with pores uh but you can treat them and you know things will work temporarily so um yeah so kind of a fun thing though i just wish you, your skin would get more benefits from it another fun mask that uh, i also like if you like the bubbles uh, Clinique has their Pep Start mask, which is uh, also does some bubbling. It's a little bit more of a gentle formula, but it's also kind of fun if you like the bubbling and things. Uh, this one is also you rinse it off pretty quick after applying it, so your skin doesn't really get a ton of benefit. Um, that's why I always say if you're on a budget, it's better to spend products or spend your most money on the products that are going to spend the longest amount of time on your skin. Uh, spend the money on like a foundation that's going to be on your skin for like 12 hours a day or a moisturizer that you're going to use overnight. Spend more money on those things as opposed to a one-minute treatment that I think the Glam Glow thing is like $40, $40, $44, right around there. So it's more expensive. If you only have $44, go out and buy a good moisturizer. Uh, go out and check out, this is one of my favorites, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Love it. I use it uh, twice a day, every single day. I've repurchased it multiple times. Uh, or invest in a good retinol serum. Uh, Paula's Choice has a good one. So just, if you're on a tight budget, just spend money on the things you can uh, spend the longest amount of time on your skin. So there's the Clinique one. You see some bubbles too. So if you like the bubble, the Clinique one also is pretty good for your skin. Uh, some good ingredients in it, uh, sodium hyaluronic, things like that. So um, yeah, so I'm a little bit bummed that Glam Wool came out with something finally that I really like for the most part. I mean, there's still you know, some ingredients in there that I'm not a huge fan of, like the amount of witch hazel that they included, but thankfully it's it's not one of the first five ingredients, so that's good. But uh, if you have oily skin, I think you'll like this more. But in terms of actual, like, actually cleaning your pores, you're going to get a little bit of a temporary effect, which, which is a good thing, and then it'll go back to being however it was before you used it. But anyway, and then they recommend using it two to three times a week, so... It's worth worth checking out. I just think you should invest in something that's going to be on your skin a long time. So anyway, those are my quick reviews of the Glam Glow uh, Insta Mud, and I'll probably try and get around to doing a full review soon. But uh, busy week, so I just wanted to get get you guys some reviews of some new products I got. 
uh, while I had the chance instead of waiting like a month and then finally doing the full review. So anyway, so that's about it, guys. So thank you guys so much.